It's Jack from B&T McFarland. Today we're going to go over the difference between a front mounted snowblower and a rear mounted snowblower. So let's get into it. When you're shopping around for a piece of snow removal equipment, a question we get asked a lot is whether you should be getting a rear mounted snowblower or a front mounted snowblower. Both of them comes with their pros and their cons and we're pretty lucky today to be talking about two L6060s. We don't see a front mounted L6060 snowblower all that often. More often than not, the front mounted snowblowers are on the BX to LX series. Seeing that on something this size is actually pretty cool, but nonetheless, the same principles will apply to a tractor of this size. So we're gonna start up at the front mounted snowblower and talk about some of the pros and the cons that go with getting one of these snowblowers. By far, the biggest pro with going with a front mounted snowblower is that you actually get to see where you're driving and the snowblower is in front of you. So when you're clearing snow, all of the controls for the snowblower are actually on the loader stick for every single front mounted snowblower that we sell. So you can raise and lower it and if you opt for the hydraulic rotation and deflection, you can even rotate the chute as well as deflect the chute right from your loader stick. With that being said too, not only do you get to see in front of you, but on the front mounted snowblower you actually have down pressure so if you've ever used a rear mounted snowblower you know that there's no down pressure with the snowblower the only down pressure that you do get is from the weight of the snowblower itself but since it's tied into the loader hydraulics much like how you can push your loader directly into the ground in order to scrape dirt you can push the snowblower right into the ground so if you have a layer of ice built up on your driveway or your parking lot or anything like that you can take the snowblower physically push it into the ground to scrape off that top layer of ice. Now we have to talk about some of the cons. The biggest con with going with one of these is the price. So when you're pricing out a front mounted snowblower versus a comparable rear mounted one, you're usually double the price going to the front mounted. So that's a, what a lot of people have to consider. Whether you're shopping for a BX to an LX, even an L6060, again, it is about double the price. So you have to consider if it's gonna be worth it for you oh, Another thing you have to consider when you're getting a front mounted snowblower is how often you're going to be taking off the front mounted snowblower. You can see here it's a pretty complex system that hooks up the front snowblower. There's a subframe that goes all the way underneath the tractor all the way to the front that hooks up the snowblower. You have some hydraulic hoses too that do hook into your loader valve. So when you do have this front snowblower on during the winter time you will lose your loader. So if you're a type of customer that is going to need the loader in the winter whether to move firewood or you wanted to clear snow off your driveway then getting a front snowblower might not be practical uh, it doesn't take too long to switch between them probably 20 minutes to an hour depending on the size of the blower and which tractor you get and how familiar you are with swapping implements now we're going to talk about some rear mounted snowblower options there's two different styles that you can get when you're shopping around for a tractor this inverted style it's really only available for tractors around the lx size and bigger if you get a b01 series or a bx series these type of inverted blowers, they're not very practical because they take a lot of horsepower and they take a fairly heavy tractor to be able to pull it through the snow. So if you get an inverted blower, the biggest advantage with that is that you get to drive forward much like a front end snow blower. But the downside is, like I mentioned with rear blowers, you don't have any down pressure. So when you're actually trying to scrape somebody's driveway or scrape the ice after some freezing rain, it's not gonna do the best job, especially if you have a lighter rear blower, like a BX blower or even an LX rear blower. Won't quite be heavy enough like this L6060 one to really get down the ice and scrape it off. Again, you do have to look behind you when you're using this, whether you're using an inverted blower or a traditional backup type blower, you're not gonna be safe from having to not look behind you, even with the inverted one. Um, you do have to look behind you when you're clearing snow. So if you're an older customer or someone who doesn't really wanna turn around all the time when they're doing their driveway, it might not be practical to you. So we see it a lot with customers with longer driveways. We have customers that have driveways that are several kilometers long. So backing up that entire stretch of driveway isn't really practical. So they do opt to get that front end snowblower or an inverted snowblower it does work as well. Hooking up a three-point hitch snowblower is like hooking up any other three-point hitch implement. The only thing I would strongly recommend is getting a set of hydraulic remotes so that you can hydraulically rotate the chute of your snowblower at least. A lot of tractors like the 6060, they come standard with two sets of remotes so you can get the rotation and the deflection straight to your remotes. And the nice thing about having a rear blower is that you get 
to keep your front end loader during the winter time. So again, if you use the front end loader in the winter time for tree clearing, firewood or anything like that, or even snow removal, it is a nice thing to have that up there. You can also put implements where the bucket sits. So if you wanna use the blower and the loader in tandem to clear your driveway, you can do that as well. What a lot of people do is they get a snow pusher for the front of their bucket. They push all the snow into piles and then they have a traditional backup type blower where they just go back up over all those piles and that works extremely well. So that wraps up today's videos about front snow blowers versus rear snow blowers. I'd love to know down in the comments which one you chose and why. And as always, I just want to thank everybody for watching. And if you need help with parts, sales, or service, give us a call at 613-225-0555. Thank you.